Good afternoon, guys. We are currently here doing a procedure. It's a Milan procedure, and the one who's doing is John. He is my trainee today. So he's doing the midline, and I'm training him. Oh, my fingers, yeah. Like, I mean, like, this one? Yeah, make this one? No, it's okay. You're okay. You can relax your arm. Relax your arm. Okay. Just relax your arm, Mama. Okay. Just relax. Okay. Okay, now he's trying to prepare his ultrasound probe. With an That's just a lubricant, okay? Okay. Make sure you have enough lubricant on it. Oh no, don't you be nervous ma'am. Okay. Uh, the only time you're gonna feel the pain is when we put the numbing medicine. Okay. So it's a sting and a burn. Otherwise yeah. the rest of the procedure is painless. Remember I was telling you it's yeah. gonna burn a little? Yeah. It's gonna burn a little bit. So now he's preparing the lidocaine. How long does it burn for? It's just like a few minutes. Okay. Like in a second actually. A second? Okay. So he's getting ready on that one. Then get ready on your fives. Mama, you'll be okay. You'll be okay, okay? okay. Get ready on your five. One, two, three, four, and five. Ready. So again, uh, my trainee is doing a midline on a patient. So if we do a midline, we don't necessarily need an x ray after the procedure because. Usually the tip of the midline is only located at the axillary vein. So right now he's trying to access. Oh, let me try to get a good okay. See, all right. Well, there's a good vein there. So when you approximate the catheter vein ratio on that one, probably it would be like 36 percent, since you are the three friends. Lower the number, the have the bigger, right? Yes. You know the infusion or society standard of practice: the lower fringe, the better. It prevents from having uh, right. mechanical arthritis and DVT. Yes. You're gonna feel a poke now, okay? This is where you feel the burn. Okay. All right. Yes. Stay gonna burn. Okay. Good job, see? And then try to make sure you look at the screen because you might be hitting the vein when you administer the light of Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Now he's going to access now the vein. So I'm gonna show it to you. Once he stick the skin, we're gonna change the screen to the uh, ultrasound. Make sure your bevel is up. So make sure to put it at the center. All right. There you go. Okay. You're gonna feel the poke. But most of the time you're gonna feel it because it's numb. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good. You're almost on the top of the vein. Okay, there you go. You are at the center of the vein. Put we'll slide it down a little bit, your needle, and then thread it through another one. Are you not threading it through? Yeah, just only thread it through. Okay. So uh, this time, we will be putting the guide wire on the needle. So, is it threading it smoothly? Yes. Okay, good. So you, that is an indication that you are already in the vein. Well done, you are doing it good now, huh? Now remove the needle. This is this one you're gonna feel a little pressure, okay? Okay. You're gonna be okay. Okay. Just a little pressure, okay? Okay. 
In this case, you might gonna need an additional lidocaine if you want to. Additional? Okay. No, uh, if you feel it uh, better, you, you yeah. really don't need it. Yeah, if it's gonna numb it? Numb yeah, it is already numb, actually. Oh, additional numbness? Uh, sure, no problem. No? Yeah, if you, you would uh, put it back to the micro-introducer and then stick it do again you, with the micro-introducer in it. I don't feel anything right now. Oh, that's good. Okay. So this one, a little more pressure, okay? Okay. Pressure in there? Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. Your Sometimes in this part, uh, I usually wait until blood is coming out from the micro introducer yes, so to, to determine whether it's in. Okay, yes. so I think you are getting blood return. That's good. So you should be okay. All right, now he's preparing the character. So we're probably going to be putting all the 20 centimeter character. So usually the max length for midland is 20 centimeter. We can cut it, you know, depends on the patient's lens from the insertion side to the axillary thing. But, uh, Mr. Ramirez, okay. you release your tourniquet, you, make sure you, you release the tourniquet once you already had your wire and your guard wire. Okay. Fine, I was sure you Did you press it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, is your catheter spreading through? Yep. Perfect. All right, then you can turn away your mic to do so. You're really doing good, huh? I'm getting one. Okay, that's it. You just leave one centimeter from the hub. You should put all the way in. Okay, almost done. Okay. Actually, we're done. Okay. Alright, so did you get good blood return? Okay, good. Then do it in a positive fashion when you flush it. And then leave at least one time or just put it at the mark where it is zero mark in it. Because you'll put all the weight in the top. I'm just cleaning, okay, but okay. we're done. We're just gonna put a dressing over okay. it so it doesn't get contaminated okay? okay good job thank you doing great Mr. you too um, pull it back <laughs> a little bit and I'll pull it more are you on the side where it says midline yes okay now he uh he is securing it with a stop lock now. Yes. Oh, you have to use this no sting barrier first. Yes, it's a little bloody. And also the no sting barrier you have to apply so that they will stick. I hate that part there. No, this is the one I told you. Yeah, yeah I trace. keep on telling to make Mission. sure you pull it to check whether you can easily peel away all the paper. Good job, that's it. Now, two of my midlines earlier. Yeah. I left it at the hub. What? What if I touch the head? You are touching the nuns, the sterile part. But this is still sterile. Mm -hmm, no, it's okay. So 
the next one. Just be mindful. It's, it's about to close my eye. Oh, 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 o